Last night, I put up an Instagram thing being cheeky about women. And, well, I want to address that. Here's the video. Good evening. Well, looks like <laughs> I managed to, um, I managed to find somewhere where I can show exactly how many women care about love versus money, right? Women who actually care more about love than money. I'm about to show you these women. Just a bit further over here. Just a little bit further. Just a bit more. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. We'll go down the road here a bit. Just a little bit more. 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 Yep. Yep, I think that sums it up pretty much, doesn't it? That's not Absolutely no woman cares about love more than they care about money. So, well... Got all this love in abundance, but I got fucking two sets to rub together. Fucking, this fucking trouser python here. Just have to go slither it in my hand. What a shame. You could be copping it from behind. But, nah. I don't make enough money for you. You're above my pay grade. To make this clear, my experience has been... I got married about ten years ago. And, well... The wife was always at me to go into joint accounts and to um, sort of go through, you know, go through life putting in a percentage that was greater than what she could contribute. Um, it was all based on percentages and not dollars and cents. Because I said, what does it cost to run a house? Right, and when you do the math, you work out shopping, bills, you know, um, with her with her job and what she was doing, um, part of the salary package was accommodation was taken care of. We didn't have to pay for it. Um, so that in turn helped a bit, but then also her car was under an allowance and so she didn't have to pay rego and stuff normally like I would. And so to do all the math, I had all these things I already had to take care of just to go and get to work, right? Car edge, um, you know, fuel and shit like that. Uber relationships and, and joint accounts and this whole control thing and women always wanting to fucking hold the money when a man earns it. Um, so... The men, have, the men have things already in the back of their mind. It's like, all right, well, I know I've fucking made this much money. I've got to spend this and do this and this and this. Women have a completely different mindset. And they fucking, they think, oh, I'll do this, this and this with your money. Excuse me, I've already got that earmark for this, this and this. But they don't want what you want they want something else right and it's usually something frivolous it's usually something to make them feel better it's not actually to do with fucking you know making sure your car's serviced so you can get to work on time rego's paid you know um blokes don't necessarily do enough of fucking getting away and, and sort and, and having time for themselves um and they get stuck in this loop i was vic i i I, I fell victim to that at some point in my life. Honestly, I did. Luckily now, well, I'm by myself living in a car, so most people would say, yeah, that really worked out for you, didn't it, dickhead? Um, yeah, it actually did because, well, now I'm not fucking working my ring out, paying for some bitch to fucking feel better. Like, that's basically it. Game, set, and match. Um, on this whole narcissistic trope that women have. Because all of them are self-centered. All of them. You can't, I, I've not met one that isn't. Money's what 
makes this fucking this stronghold on Earth tick, right? Earth was here before this fucking paradigm came into existence. Earth was here long before the first coin was fucking cast and pressed, right? Earth was here long before the first fleet came to Aboriginal land. First, the, the Earth was here before the Saxons rocked up the Brittany. Here's some fucking truth for you. You know, Brittany. The original nation, one of the original nations on the land they call United Kingdom now, right? It's a United Kingdom. No, it was taken over by the Anglo-Saxon, which is, well, the Anglo-Saxon, it's hard to describe where they're from because their first incarnation wasn't of this earth. This earth has already been alien infected for quite a long time. Now, people are probably going to call me a fucking weirdo for that. Once you see the patterns, you can pick it up and you go, fuck. Because there's some people out there that act completely alien, right? They just think, what the fuck's going on in your head, cunt? Is there even anything in there? You shake for the rocks, right? You're thinking you're about to play, you can bounce ahead and play a game of bobble, right? No. Deadhead motherfuckers and shit like that, right? Soulless beings. Most people from Earth, most people who were of the Earth, right? Black fellas. Who has the most soul? Who has the most spirit? Black fellas, right? I'm one of them. I'm from Brittany, though. I'm from the Northern Hemisphere. That's my bloodline, right? There's a little bit. There's no Saxon in me. It's all indigenous fucking blood. From Norway. From fucking Russia. From fucking Brittany. Originally. Scotland. Ireland. Right? All the indigenous nations of the world, right? Where tribal people were. Before the alien invasions came. And. These new uh, creatures. That came into the earth, right? Somehow, somewhere. We can't explain of how they got here. They just ended up here. Saxons included. There's a couple of other... There's a couple of other fucking descents of people. But I don't know them. I only know the Saxon because that's what my ancestors had to deal with. Other parts of the globe could probably attest to this and go, yeah, there's certain bunch of people here. I'm not being racist in this either. This is all to do with bloodline. So, it's a cryptic yarn, it's the fucking, it, it, the universe just keeps spitting shit out of me. I'm just another vessel for this motherfucker, right? I'd like to be in a more comfortable position, but they say that this is good enough for me. <laughs> no, fuck you, whatever. I'm still here doing it, because, well, what else am I going to do? That fucking song just popped into my head, Misery by Metallica, you know. Misery, you think that the weight of the world should be on your shoulders. Misery. It's all here. <laughs> misery loves company, nah. If I get misery, I'll get away. I don't want to be amongst other miserable people or miserable things because, well, it's only going to drag me further into misery. I'm already trying to climb out of it. Picture it, right? So, any 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 theatre of war where a soldier is, a foot soldier I'm talking about, army side, not fucking Air Force or Navy. What's he done? He's dug a foxhole, he's in it. He's fucking hiding, right? Fuck. You know? Rifle up. Like, Fuck, is it clear to run yet? Is it clear to run? Is it clear to run? That's me, bro. I'm in my foxhole. And I'm just waiting for him it's clear to run. Every time I do, fuck. Another shot fired, you know. You fucking pop your head up. Shot fired. That's the way my life is at the moment. I'm stuck in a foxhole. I'm trying to climb my way out, but everyone keeps shooting at me. Why am I the fucking enemy here? <laughs> you know, I haven't weaved my flag because I ain't surrendering to shit, right? There's no white flag in my pocket anywhere around me. I don't surrender. I 
know, that up, and I'm still fucking pointed, motherfucker. Is, do I trust you? No. You've proven you can't be trusted in one way, in one way or another. So, I don't trust you. I hope this is not making sense because the world is illogical anyway, right? <laughs> Probably sitting there going, what the fuck are you scrambling on about, cunt? What I'm scrambling on about is the esoteric, my friends. Well, I say the term friends loosely. And I'm just saying right now I'm treating you as a friendly and you are not going to be under my wrath. That can change quickly depending on how you operate. Play shit gun games, get shit gun prizes. That's basically how it works, isn't it? Grim Reaper lives. The Grim Reaper ain't dead, bro. Grim Reaper's here, breathing. With skin. With organs. There's a blood pump here. There was a heart. In a human that was here. But it got crashed. Too many times. So the Grim Reapers stepped in and said, Hey, bro, I've got your back. I see what's been happening with you. I can't let you come over. So that's why the Grim Reaper lives in me. Because, well, everyone else dogged me. And then I turned up to his door. He looked at me and went, Brah, nah. We can't have you over the other side here. I'm going to let you be the vessel. Say that all these motherfuckers that came against you are going to learn a lesson. The lesson is, karma will come for you, and I am karma in fucking human form. I'm the karma farmer, the grim reaper. What you reap, you sow. I carry a sickle. That's basically the grim reaper. Cuts through the bullshit. I've been in training for this my whole life. From childhood, through the workforce to now, I've always been trodden on, cut down, pushed to the ground, fucking abandoned, discarded. Left me for dead. Well, I wasn't here to do that, but this is where my hand's been forced. So my hand picked up a sickle. Just remember, you're on this earth. Some of you have a purpose, some of you don't. It's easy to tell. The people who don't tune into what's just going on on the telly and whatnot, and you're actually thinking outside the box, you have a purpose. Keep up the good work. Those of you out there creating things and putting out things out into the world, bands and musicians and what have you, Artists, creatives, um, poets, people that invoke thought, people that invoke you to fucking change your mind state. Keep up the good work. I need you here. This is the Grim Reaper speaking. And remember what you reap, you sow. These politicians, these fucking miners, people just fucking just ruining everything. With their so-called progress. Fuck you. The true people of the earth will rise again. I'm speaking that into existence. And death will come knocking at the doors every one of these alien people that continue this trope that money is everything and everyone has a price that shit is dying value is in the human not in money money is not shit to me money is not shit to the universe it's all just fucking numbers, bro. Life is mathematics, though. 
So that's why money can be played with like it is. That's why money's become an energy. People invested their energy into that. Maybe it's time we started investing our energy outside of the money ring and put it back into the human. Think about that today. What is infinite? Death and rebirth, my friends. And that's my business. And business is fucking awesome.